Hi everyone, I am Dr. Rajesh Singh from Department of Geology University of Lucknow. Today I am going to demonstrate clinographic projection of the triceptrahedra. Okay, this is the triceptrahedra. I think you have watched, uh, you have seen my video related, uh, related to the making of the 3D using cardboards. If you want to make the models, these are the cardboard models only. These are not, uh, this is not the wooden model. This is the cardboard model. So in that video in part one, there are two crystals. First one is trice, uh, trisoctahedron and second one is tetrahexahedron. This one, after making, I realized that these two crystals, these two crystal models are not perfect as uh, in comparison to the wooden models if you have seen in your uh, uh, practical classroom in part two i have rectified these uh, models so you can watch in part two but here this is the new one this one is the perfect trisoctahedra okay this one is imperfect one this is the perfect one because these apex are more prominent than this one so try sakta headband it is a closed from made up of 24 faces of the uh, isoscale triangular faces. So it is made up of, it is closed form, it is made up of 24 triangular isoscale faces. Isoscale means two uh, uh, sides of the triangle are of equal length. Okay. And each axis each face cut two axis at unit length okay but third at the different unit okay. so general symbol for this one is hhk and unit symbol two two one okay and uh, regarding the Symmetry element. This will show the same symmetry elements. This have the same symmetry element as tetrahexahedron, rhombodecahedron, cube, octahedron. All are belonging to the normal class or galena type. Okay, so all will save the same kind of the symmetry elements. Yeah, you have to recognize the axis from where they are forcing how you have to orient these crystal models this is the important because you know all will show the same symmetry element all have the same symmetry element okay so for the trisoctahedron remember where these Eight. How many? Eight triangular faces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight triangular faces joining. Or you can recognize this prominent edge, raised edge. This prominent. Where these four prominent raised edges are joining, these points are the from where these points from where the crystallographic axis is also possible. Okay, find out it. It one, two, three, four. Likewise, one, two, three, four. One similarity is that when these four raised 
is will meet that line joining the opposite in will show the you fourfold symmetry so you can easily recognize from where you can get the fourfold uh, full symmetry element likewise this is the top to bottom that is a3 this is front to you can recognize from one ridge here okay second third and fourth one so one this one is one this one is two one two three and four so you can recognize these ridges each raised edge you can rotate along this axis again you will get the fourfold these three axis will give you fourfold symmetry okay where these four raised edge are meeting likewise if you hold like this where three rays are meeting this edge where three edges are meeting, hold again opposite direction to it also from here like this and rotate it. You will get three fold of the symmetry. So this will give you three fold and such kind of points are eight. So corresponding because two points uh, axis will uh, line uh, axis will pass through the two points such kind of how many eight uh, points where three a raised edge are meeting okay so you will get four axes which are showing three fold of the symmetry okay now hold like this this zoom where only to try uh, two isoscale charge meeting of the unequal length these are the equal length is, is this is the side of the triangle uh, isoscale triangle which is unequal as you can base it so when joining these two we will get a intersection line midpoint of this line hold it like this and rotate it okay you will get two fold symmetry getting my point you will get two fold symmetry again rotate this is not a plane again it will come then again then same same face is coming and six lines along which you can get the two fold symmetry so so for plane asymmetry first along the crystallographic axis mirror plane along the crystal so you can get easily how many that is three now just inserts intersect like this point containing these three rays then you will get again a mirror okay so then you will cut like this this raised point this raised point this raised point these are the containing what crystallographic axis okay these raised points In this only one axis is contained so this is not along the plane of the crystallography because it it is mirrored along the crystallographic then it must include two axes total you will get six mirror plane along the diagonal axis and three along the crystallographic axis so now clinographic projection of the trisectahedron for that you need to draw the uh, isometric uh, clinographic axis of the isometric system to know more about the drawing of the axis of the isometric section 
go to playlist and watch the uh, video available there in my youtube channel so you can watch there i am starting here from the axis of the uh, isometric system only draw the axis of the uh, isometric system this is the axis okay name the edges of the axis name it edges at a b c d e and e f and center of the q isometric uh, system is the o now we need to uh, here we have to mark the midpoint of the oc rob oa od oe because first take the compass put the needle in at o and take the arc uh, more uh, half of the oc more than it should be this length should be more than the half of the oc and mark arc in both side of the oc okay so mark the arc both side of the oc needle at c and again mark the two arcs now join the line you will get a midpoint here okay this is the procedure to divide any line name it for midpoint i used i okay and this k and other other points also so you have to determine the midpoint of oc oe od and oe these are the o what is a what is c these are the like o positive end of the crystallographic axis and b d e f are the negative end of the crystallographic axis okay so now you get the midpoint you have the uh, crystallographic axis okay this is new crystallographic axis you can consider sonian red line but what is difference between these two only the length of the axis here length of axis is 2 inch 4 5.4 inch and 6 inch but now it reduces in same ratio it is reduced in same ratio 1 inch 2.7 inch and 3 inch join the midpoint of the uh, axis to each other midpoint of the axis to each other only but do not mid, uh, join the midpoint of the A2 axis and A3 axis. So join it. So this is the new axis. Red line is new axis. The details are uh, given here. And uh, you in next step, what you have to do? Just make the front octahedron. Okay, For front octahedron. this is the front octahedron you can count four faces one two three four this is a one one face of the octahedron okay so we are going first draw the front uh, face of the trice octahedron using front face of the octahedron in next step you have to determine the midpoint of these lines too. Uh, means only lines joining the line uh, edge of the octahedron passing through the E, uh, joining the G. So these are the midpoint of the edge of the octahedron. Okay, these lines are have common end G. Yeah, A1 positive end. So from these midpoints, draw a line. Okay, if this is made up of what? A1 and A3. So draw a line from here and join the C and D like this. Okay, which are not used to determine this point. This point is the uh, midpoint of the edge cutting a3 and a1 so from here you have to join the mid 
for uh, this brother points okay now by joining these points midpoint through the edge uh, yeah, point e q to e and q to f p to e and p to f like r with c and d and q s with c and d we get uh, another four points where is this one this one this one and this one these points are t u w and v so we are interested in these four points so now join j with these points j with u and k j uh, j with j u and g join in uh, the point coming in the octahedron phase corner of the octahedron like the, the, uh, t is coming in k i and g this phase one one phase lie in the one one phase so join this point with the corner point of this triangular phase okay so you get these triangular faces are the again these are the isoscale triangular faces of the trisectahedra you are getting one one two three four five six and seven eight nine ten eleven one face is there here which is coinciding with the edge of the octahedron okay so i try to zoom it if possible i will yeah you can see there are two lines very thin area between these two lines okay so this is the 12 phase so the front faces are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this one is 9 10 11 and 12 so you have drawn the front faces of the trisectahedron okay. so next we will do the same exercise same steps for the back end these are the ultra hand faces of the back end okay shown by the dotted lines next determine the midpoint of octahedron then join this with the endpoints of the earlier edge then again you get four points one is here second is here third one is here and fourth one is here so name it you can name it likewise this uh, corresponding to front r there is bike rv point likewise corresponding to t there is tb okay so these points tb rv wv and vv these are the intersection points now join them with the uh, edge of the octahedrons so you have to draw here also but in <coughs> at tv point one phase will be again coincide with the edge k uh, ki so let's start doing it So these are the faces, red dotted lines. Okay, you can count. You will get the eleven uh, very prominent, but one here is not too much prominent. Okay, so again I going to use zoom it. So again you can see that there are thin area between red line and black line black solid line is edge of the octahedron and this is the two lines this is not a single line this is the two lines and 
this is the side of the isoscale this triangle which which triangle tki this is these are the sides of the isoscale so you can count it you will get again 12 faces 12 front faces and 12 back faces so i remove the front faces you can count easily the back faces j k h j this is the one octahedron faces these are the common line from the front and solid is uh, common line in front and back faces okay so you will get one two three four five here is six one very very thin area is visible very thin area so this is also a iso scale uh, corners are t t b i and k okay so three in here from u u b one two three three from t b one this one one this one is two and this one is three likewise from three from v b one two and three likewise w v one two and three so total is 12 faces you can see the beautiful trisoctahedron drawn a beautiful trisoctahedron i thank you for watching the video